let's take a look at how to evaluate expressions involving integers. They ask us to evaluate 4 minus 4 plus 1. Okay, well when you're adding or subtracting, you can go from left to right since they're on the same level. Okay, so I'm going to start this problem by saying 4 minus 4 gives me 0, and then I still have to add 1. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1, so the answer to the whole thing is simply 1. Three plus one times three. Now notice this time I have addition and I also have multiplication. So this is where I have to be careful and think about my order of operations. Remember the acronym GEMDAS reminds us of our order. First we do any grouping, then any exponents, then any multiplication or division, and then last any addition or subtraction. So we need to keep in mind, we need to multiply first before we can add. So I would say three plus, and one times three gives me three, right? So I multiplied this number first, and now I can add them together to say three plus three is six. Four times five minus two. Well, much like the last problem, we have to think about order of operations and remember that we need to multiply first before we subtract. So I'm going to start by saying 4 times 5. That gives me 20. And then I can subtract the 2. 20 minus 2 leaves me with 18. Evaluate. 3 plus 4 divided by 2. Well, again, I'm thinking about my order of operations, and I need to make sure that I do the division before I add. So I'm just going to leave that 3 plus where it is for a minute, and I'm going to start by saying 4 divided by 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is just 2, and now I can add 3 plus 2. That gives me 5. Five plus three minus four. Well, remember addition and subtraction are the same level for order of operations, so you can just go left to right. Five plus three is eight, and then I still have to subtract the four, and eight minus four gives me four. Three minus three plus five. Well, again, addition and subtraction are the same level, so we can just go from left to right. 3 minus 3 is 0, and then I still need to add 5 to that, and 0 plus 5 gives me 5. 5 times 2 plus 3. Well, order of operations tells me I need to multiply first before I can add. So I'm going to start by saying 5 times 2, that gives me 10, and then I can add the 3. 10 plus 3 gives me 13. 3 plus 5 times 1. Thinking about my order of operations, I know I need to multiply before I can add. So I'm going to leave that 3 plus where it is, and I'm going to start by saying 5 times 1. That gives me 5. And now I can add 3 plus 5 to get 8. 3 plus 3 times 4. Okay, well I need to multiply before I can add, so I'm going to leave that 3 where it is, and I'm going to start by multiplying 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, and then finally I can add this together and say 3 plus 12 gives me 15. 9 divided by 3 plus 4. Okay, well I'm going to do the division part before I add, right, following my order of operations. So 9 divided by 3 gives me 3, and then I still need to add 4 to that. 3 plus 4 gives me 7 for my final answer.